everyone, how's it going? In today's fun video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw a cool leprechaun surprise fold. So hope you follow along and enjoy this video today. Now to start off with our cool leprechaun surprise fold, let's begin by folding our paper. I'm going to take my paper and fold it in half just like I'm making a card. I line up the corners and give it a nice fold down the middle. Next I'm going to go and I'm going to fold this one more time line up the corners and I give it another nice fold so it looks like a big bookmark. Now when I open this up I have these nice little guidelines in here that show me where I need to keep the inside of my drawing. And then I like to turn my paper this way so I can open my surprise fold down. Now to start off with our cool leprechaun surprise fold let's begin by drawing the sunglasses. So I'm going to begin right here and I'm going to make a line that's going to come across. I'm going to leave a little bit of space and then I'll make another line that comes across here. I'm going to draw a line that's going to come down and then up here. And then same thing here, I'm just going to come down and then up, kind of like a smiley face shape. I'll draw a little line across and then a little line that just goes up and down. Now, inside of these, I want to make a little shamrock shape. So I'm going to begin by making a little line that's going to go up and down and then up and down. Next, we're going to go out and in, out and in. We're going to do that again. We're just going to go out and in and then out and in. And this one, we're going to go down and up down and up. I'll do that same thing here, just go up and down, up and down, out and in, out and in, out and in, out and in. And we'll go down and up, down and up. And then right here I'm gonna make a curve shape for the nose. Now, starting here, I'm going to make a little line up right above each uh, shade of the sunglasses. And then right here, I'm going to make a line that comes right across. Starting here, I'm going to draw a line that's going to curve out. It's going to come around and then back to here in like an oval shape. And then I'll make two lines that come up just a little bit. And then I'm going to connect these across. Now starting here, I'm going to draw a line that comes all the way towards the top of my paper on each side. And then I'm going to make a nice line across. Then I'll make another line across here with two lines down for like the little buckle. Then I'll make a little line in here. Now starting here, I'm gonna draw a line that comes down on each side. And then I'm going to make a nice curve shape like this to connect. Then I'm going to make a little smile. Then right here, I'm going to make a little half circle shape on each side for the ears. And then we're going to make the beard. Now draw the beard, I'm going to draw a line that comes down on each side. And then I'm just going to make some big bumps that just come right across here. Now, starting right here, I'm going to make a circle shape at the bottom of the beard. And then right here, I'm gonna make a line that's gonna go up, down, and then back up. Same thing here, up, down, and back up. Almost like a sideways triangle. Then I like to add two little lines inside of here.
starting here, I'm gonna draw a line right down on each side. And then right here, I'm gonna make a line that comes down on each side. Starting here, I'm gonna make a line that comes down on each side for the arms. And then right here, I'm gonna make a line that goes out and in and then down. Same thing, out and in and then down. Make a little line down and we'll color in a little button right there. Now right up here, I'm gonna make a little curve line for like an eyebrow. And then I'm gonna make just a line that just kind of comes down, kind of like he's raising an eyebrow. And then up here, I'm gonna make a little clover. I'm gonna draw a little line that's gonna go out and down. I'm gonna go up and in and then out and down here for a little clover shape up there. And I'll make a little line here and a little line here. And then starting here, I'm just gonna make two little lines across. Now, um, next step is to open this up and draw the inside. Now, once we open this up, we have two halves of our leprechaun. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this line down just a little bit on each side for the face. And I'm gonna bring this line up just a little bit on each side for the face. Now, there's lots of things you can do on the inside of here. You could just make the plain mouth. You could write something in here. It's up to you. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna write Happy St. Patty's Day in here. So I'm just gonna start right across here on this fold and I'm gonna go ahead and write the word happy. Next, after I have this, I'm gonna write St. Patty's Day down here. Now, after I have this, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a little kind of border around here. Now, you can kind of do this with whatever. You can make it kind of pointy, bumpy, whatever. I'm just gonna make it kind of pointy around here. So I'm just gonna make this kind of like pointy little kind of zigzag shape all the way around my words here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and draw this all the way around. Now, after I have this, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and connect this down to here, and then I'm gonna bring this down to here. I'll do the same thing. I'm gonna bring this down, and then I'm gonna bring this up to here. So I've got the face connected. Next, I'm gonna make some bumpy lines just to kind of make the beard connected. So I'm just gonna draw these bumpy lines on here just to kind of connect the beard. Now, inside of here, we're gonna make the top of the mouth. So I'm gonna make a little curved line on each side. And then I'm gonna make a nice big smiley face shape across. Then I'm gonna go ahead and draw this line down on each side. And then I'm gonna make some teeth on here. So I'm just gonna go down, over, and up for some teeth for my leprechaun. Now starting here, I'm gonna go down, over, and then up. And I'll do the same thing. I'm just gonna add some teeth right across here. Now my next step is to, I just wanna add a few little kind of fun details around here. So I'm gonna make some gold coins on here. So I'm gonna make some ovals on here going like some different directions. So we're gonna put a few different oval shapes on here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a line that comes down, goes over, and then up. So I'm just gonna go down, over, and up on here. And then I like to add just a couple little lines on here to make it look more like some coins. So let's add some little lines on here. 
just for a little bit of detail. And there you go, there is your drawing of a cool leprechaun surprise fold. So when we have it all folded up, we have our cool little leprechaun in the shades. And then when we open it up, he's saying happy St. Patty's Day, and he's got some gold coins flying out of there. And this would be a great St. Patrick's Day card. You can just fold it up, give it to somebody, and then open it up for them. It's a great way to make a nice card for the holiday of St. Patrick's Day. And there you go. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.